everyone, it's Jack from Cultaholic.com, back again with more news regarding, well, various wrestlers, really. First of all, we're going to take a look at AJ Styles and his reported appearance backstage at tonight's Monday Night Raw. Uh, we'll also have a look at what Roman Reigns had to say about the recent steroid allegations aimed at him over the past month or two. And also, we will take a look at who Bubba Ray Dudley wants to induct himself and his brother Devon, well, his brother Devon, into the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, all this... And let's just, let's just get straight into it, I guess. Let's go. First of all, according to Mike Johnson of PW Insider, AJ Styles will be backstage at tonight's Raw, uh, being checked over, apparently, by medical staff because he did pick up, a, apparently he's carrying a minor injury, the sort of injury that, I, I mean, we're all hoping won't keep him out of WrestleMania because he's got that big marquee match against Shinsuke Nakamura, but hopefully after tonight's Raw, we'll have more of an idea. Could he also appear on the show in some capacity? I... I probably doubt it just because he's not really involved in any raw storylines, especially now that John Cena seems to have found himself a target in the form of The Undertaker and Styles has found himself an opponent in the form of Shinsuke Nakamura. Styles has not competed on the past couple of SmackDown Live events. Uh, he did appear at Madison Square Garden but was jumped before the match and then came out afterwards to make a save. His involvement was kind of kept very minimal presumably just to avoid aggravating the injury that he is supposed to be carrying. So yes, again, hopefully we know more about the situation once he has been checked over on tonight's Raw, and hopefully, fingers crossed from I think just about every wrestling fan in the world, he is okay to compete at WrestleMania against Shinsuke Nakamura, because that match genuinely has the potential to be a modern WrestleMania classic. In other news, uh, Roman Reigns appeared on the Jim and Sam show to speak about the recent steroid allegations aimed at him by filmmaker John Bravo, and he pretty much denied the whole thing and said, look, I had no idea where this came from. I don't know the people. I was never aware of any sort of allegations made against me. He said that when he found out about the news, he was at home doing dad stuff. He was looking after his kids. He was, he was just being a normal guy. And this all kind of appeared out of nowhere on his Twitter and he didn't have a clue what to make of it. Um, I think everyone's pretty much on Roman's side now considering that Bravo then released a, a more recent video and the apparent evidence against Roman Reigns was not that it was, it was essentially clickbait. It was a clickbait video about a very serious topic indeed. Um, I think we'll all we'll all be very pleased for Roman Reigns. I know that he's not a very popular guy for many fans in terms of his character's direction and the way that he's pushed too heavily in the view of many, but I don't think that has any bearing on what we should think of him as just a guy doing his job, as a, as a person in real life, you know, not as Roman Reigns, but as the man outside of the ring. So I'm personally quite pleased to hear this news and uh, hopefully it all turns out to be true and that he's had no involvement whatsoever. It looks like it's gonna, it looks like it's gonna end up that way. Reigns, of course, is set to face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34 for the Universal Championship, a match which it'll be very interesting to see how the crowd respond to it, considering it's another big title match for Roman Reigns at a WrestleMania. And finally, Bubba Ray Dudley on the Busted Open radio show uh, publicly asked Edge and Christian to induct himself and his brother Devon into the WWE Hall of Fame, and Edge agreed. But then again, I don't think this is any official news of who's going to be inducted in the Dudley Boys. From what I can gather over the years, it seems as though WWE have the final say on who inducts who and that sort of thing. But I mean, I can't think of many people better than Edge and Christian to induct the Dudleys. Maybe Paul Heyman from their ECW past, but in terms of what the Dudleys are remembered for in WWE, it's those big, innovative TLC matches at WrestleMania uh, against Edge and Christian and the Hardys. So I think Edge and Christian are a pretty solid choice indeed. Um, they were always kind of the sneaky heels, and then the Dudley boys were kind of the wrecking machine, and then uh, the Hardy boys were the, you know, the, go and get them, the little baby faces, yeah, they flip off things. It was, it was really good at the time. It was like one of the best tag feuds in WWE history, and yeah, I, I do hope that Edge and Christian end up inducting the Dudleys. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching this quick news update. I've been Jack from Cultaholic.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Jack the Jobber. You can follow all of us at Cultaholic, and you can check out our Patreon as well if you wish. Patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And never, ever forget, of course, to join us.